good racing driver has many attributes, but the, the desire to win is, is obviously top of the list. But then having a, a cool head, being able to react to the changing situations on the racetrack, being able to think strategically over a long race, like a 24-hour race, where you're sharing the car with a number of other drivers in your team, and being able to, to plan your own strategy, but then to be able to fit that into how the other drivers are, are going to race their strategy uh, throughout a 24-hour endurance race. As in life, people can be broken into character groups, and character groups, as we know, are broken into the colour scheme of red, green, blue and yellow. So your typical race driver, for example, is a dominant person, so therefore in the red group, cool, calm and collected. The pit crew is always resilient because of the conditions that they work under. Being able to work in a, you know, their tenacity to work in a pressurised situation and, and a sense of humour doing it because within a, a, a team environment where you're working with a bunch of guys and girls for three or four days, maybe 18 hours a day, you have to have a sense of humour sometimes. Your typical race engineer is studious, aloof and quiet. Support crew generally are focused, uh, disciplined and, and very well organised for the job that they have to do. So if we look, for example, at the, the three drivers that will share a car at Le Mans, there are a, you know, a dominant group of people, but each of them will have characteristics from their upbringing that may dictate where they sit and what stint they do during a 24-hour race. And obviously that can have a big impact on the outcome of the race and hopefully a successful event. Yeah.